morning guys, I got my coffee going if you hear that weird bubbly noise. And um, right now the studio is a bit of a mess from the weekend. I've got a bunch of different projects just laying everywhere so I need to get them out of the way real quick and then we can start working. So over here I think I can leave all of this but I've got the little grass thing that I've been working on. I actually added some sand to it. I'm a little short on supplies on what I want to use for this so I'm just kind of trying anything that I have right now and trying to see if I don't have to buy anything but I might have to. So that's a work in progress. I got this work in progress painting, some rolls of fabric. Again I don't think I need to move any of this but I do have a lot of pieces of fabric here. Some glue sticks I need to put up because I bought those over the weekend. Our clay pieces for our dragon. I have these horns and I asked you guys on Instagram if they worked well with this dragon because I kind of want them to go with it. I used very similar colors but they're just a little too dark and a lot of you guys did agree that they are just a little too dark so I'm going to try and go over them with some glitter and try and lighten them up. And then I have these little weird things right here I need to cut them down. These are fishing line covered up in 3D fabric paint and they're for the Monster Hunter commission that I'm working on. Basically the monster hunter creature that I'm working on has a rage mode where his eyes kind of glow and create like little trails and I'm trying to see if I can actually make that where it's soft and bendable and not like a solid thing. So I'm going to cut these down soon and we'll see if they actually work. And then I have all these for the one mandrake, the last one that I'm working on to add the leaves to. But yeah, I've been pretty busy. Again, got projects everywhere. Need to move them, but my coffee is finally done, so I'm gonna pour that real quick and then we can start on something. Okay, so I think I'm going to cut these off real quick and see how they look. I'm really hoping these worked out. I had to make them over the weekend because they're just in my workspace and I had to use a lot of layers to make them. And the stuff doesn't dry super, super fast, so wasn't able to really do any other projects on the desk until these were done, so I did them on the weekend. We might have to do something like this with a different creature, like maybe make ivy vines or something, but I added a little bit of yellow on one side, and I was hoping it'd kind of blend into the other, but it really didn't, so I'll have to make sure the yellow goes in the front when I add them on. The only thing is, I don't think this technique would work to make whiskers, like the really long dragon whiskers, unless you're okay with them being bumpy, because it, there really wasn't a way to have these super smooth. It was just, the paint is too globby. Remove all my clay pieces too. Um, I think we'll make a wire frame for this, but again, we'll wait for the end of the day before we mess around with the horns. I surprisingly go through a lot of glue sticks even though they're not my main source of glue. I ended up using a lot on the grass background thing. So I just spent like 10 minutes trying to find my tape measure to finally remember that it was not in here, it was in the living room because I was trying to make a grid system on a really large canvas, so. Thankfully, I finally found it. Okay, so we're gonna make a wire frame for this dragon that we're gonna use for a beginning tutorial. Now, I'm debating on if I should include how to make the wire frame in the tutorial, or does that not count as assembling an art doll? Because I could make that a completely separate video and go over more details on how to make a wire frame, because I don't think I've done that. I think I've gone over how to make wire frames, but I don't think I have a full-on tutorial on it. So it might be a good idea to save that and just have everything ready to assemble. I shared a picture of all the pieces of this on Instagram uh, the other day, and. It got a lot of likes, surprisingly. A lot more than what I was expecting it to be. So, I mean, that's definitely good. I think you guys really like the color choices that I did. I do think this one will be really pretty with all the colors that we have on it. Oh, you know what would actually work for a wireframe tutorial? I should wait till I have like multiple pieces that require different wireframes, and we can cover that in the tutorial. Again, I don't think I've done an actual video on how to make a wire frame. I think I've just covered it in vlogs, but am I wrong? I feel like I have a video on it, but I don't think so. So this is a new roll, but apparently this is how it came. I think someone was messing around with this in the store. 
It looks horrible. This is one of those things I definitely need to find in bulk. Like I know how to get the thicker wire in bulk going to hardware stores, but I've never seen like the thinner gauge wire in hardware stores. It could save me so much money and time because then I don't have to buy so many of these little ones. I could just buy one big one that would last me like all year. Okay, so I had to double up the wire for the neck and the front legs because they were just a little bit too kind of wiggly and I wanted to make sure it would hold the head up. But yeah, this is our little wire frame. I'm gonna heat up my glue gun now, especially now that I have glue sticks because I ran basically out. And what I'm gonna do with the glue gun is I'm just going to glue over all the spots that I have the thinner gauge wire. That way nothing gets caught on the fabric. Yeah, I think I've just covered this so many times in a vlog that I feel like I have a tutorial on it, but I don't think I do. <laughs> we'll work on that. We'll work on that next after this uh, beginner tutorial. Okay, so the wireframe is all done. I've got it all covered in the hot glue. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the mandrake. I already got that and I'm gonna start adding the leaves to it. So I should probably unplug my hot glue gun. I need it for this, but not until we add the leaves. So no need to leave it up there to where I could accidentally burn myself. Okay. Sit on my lap. <laughs> okay, let's see. Take these out of the foam. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out where the big branches go first and then we'll add the little ones around it. So I'm thinking these should probably be on the like taller ones. So each big branch will have one of these branches. So here shortly, um, I want to actually do something with the channel, but it requires a lot of work and research because I don't know how to set it up. Basically my channel is eligible for uh, memberships and I want to set it up so we could do that, but I want to set it up to where it doesn't like overwhelm me. So it wouldn't be like, oh, really expensive and here's a ton of stuff or anything. It'd be mostly like a way of supporting the channel, but I want to have like fun stuff on it. So I got a new little toy, a new tablet. So this is my tablet. I don't have it plugged in yet because we need an adapter for it. Because we have like, it's a little bit of a mess right here because we need to rewire everything. But we have like three monitors now because of this and we just need to be able to have all three running. And right now we don't have it set up that way. So I'm waiting for a part that should be in tomorrow and then I can actually start messing around with it more. And I want to make custom emojis and like coloring book pages and stuff like that. And also once I figure out how to do it where I like them because I've messed around with making patterns and I've got one, but I just don't like how it looks. I need to thin it out. So I think I probably need to get different software for making it. But once I get that done, I would have free downloadable um, patterns for some of my creatures. So like coloring pages, patterns, emojis, just kind of stuff like that that I can put up. And then anything, um, I don't know if I can put emojis on Etsy, but the coloring pages and the patterns if you don't want to be a member, I would end up putting on Etsy for sale. So I'm looking into it, trying to figure out what's a good price for what I'm putting out there and stuff like that. So if you guys have like ideas for cute emojis or different kind of things that you think would be cool to add to that, let me know because I'm really not sure where to start. <laughs> All I know is I want to do it. I don't know how to do it yet. But yeah, I want to work on that. I just need to do research. I haven't done any research on it. And I need to know what kind of emojis I should try and make for the channel. I'm thinking some of my creatures, obviously, just really cute tiny versions. Uh, maybe a little tiny version of Axel and me. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I think they'll be more like creature related than art related, but I can throw some art themed kind of things in there as well. Okay, I've got all the leaves in place and they've added a lot of length to the branches. I didn't expect that. Honestly, I could have made them a little bit shorter, but we were going for a big mandrake, so that's what we got. <laughs> okay, so the next thing that I'll end up probably doing on this is adding the roots and the 3D paint to just add more texture to the body, but I don't think we're going to do that today. I think that'll be tomorrow's project. 
So since I got that done, I'm gonna take a quick lunch break and then we can start up on something else. Okay, so I only have a little bit more time before I need to resin those horns and clean up. So I wanna work on this little wooden project real quick. Basically, what I'm trying to make is a stand to hold my paint brushes. So when I oil paint, I don't wanna just use a jar because I don't want the brushes to touch each other when I'm still using them so it messes up the color. I want them to be kind of held apart. So I'm going to have it to where they kind of go into these little holes and, um, and then I don't have to worry about them messing up or getting paint on the handles because normally what I've been doing is laying them out on paper towels so that I wipe my paint off at the same time so it gets on the handles and stuff. It's just messy and I wanted to try and fix that. So I have this, I drilled a bunch of holes in it and I need to put it together but before I do, all the holes have kind of like splintered and technically this is the top and it's bugging me really bad so I'm gonna take some sandpaper and sand down until those go away and then we can put it together. I also need to cut some wood dowels for it too. Now I was debating on adding more holes because obviously that's not a lot and I could fit more like here but I'm being really lazy and I don't want to do any more because right now we have eight we have 11 holes so that's not, I tend to not use more than that painting wise, so I think would be perfectly fine with that. And again, I'm being lazy, and if I want to, I could always take it apart and drill more. i roll up my sleeves so I don't get dust on my shirt so much. This might take a while. <laughs> Some of these chunks are a little deep, but I don't, I just don't want them on. Oh. Look at me being forgetful, I forgot these. Okay, there we go. Now no itchy eyes. Okay, this is weird. I am right-handed. <laughs> it's like, uh, that might work. I honestly need to be facing the other way. Okay, hold on, let me, let me do this facing the other way. <laughs> That was so much easier doing it the correct way. <laughs> okay, I got all my pieces. I have not finished sanding the top of this. It's just really hard to hold, so I'm thinking, let's just put it together, glue it, and then once the glue is dried, it might be easier to hold it and sand it, and I could just sand it after I'm done putting it together. So I'm going to try and use this. I don't even know if it's still good anymore, but it's wood filler. And if that doesn't work, I'm just going to use a random glue and glue it together. But this should... Uh, if I remove the plug from the thing... This should work better than glue once it's actually dry. Okay. Ew. I don't think I need a lot. It kind of looks like one of those little kids' toys, like Lincoln Logs or something, like something that would come in a set of that. <laughs> but I think it'll do its job. I don't know. And I can still technically add more holes now if I wanted to. It might just be a little bit more weird. But yeah, I still need to sand all of that down. But I'm going to let the wood putty kind of stuff dry, see if it holds nicely and then I can work on that some more. Cause I feel like this is gonna be easier to hold like that and sand it than like just this one little block. Okay, so I really carefully cleaned this entire area and I believe we are good sawdust wise. I mean, there might be some on the like fluffy stuff anyways, but there shouldn't be any in the air or the work spot that I'm gonna work in. So we should be good to work on our resin. So what I need to do first is I need to basically glue these down to some cardboard so I have something to hold on to. And I'm gonna be pretty much resining over with a thin coat of resin over the entire horn. Um, because the resin will probably be kind of liquidy and run off, I'm gonna give it like 30 minutes to kind of cure a little bit, thicken up. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick out a glitter and glitter all over them. And because the resin had a chance to set a little bit, it shouldn't make the glitter move around. It should just kind of just stay where I put the glitter. At least that's the plan. Yeah, so I was looking at my schedule for next week and I 
think we'll be going without a vlog next week. But I will have a video, I will have a Thursday video, and it's going to be a oil painting video. Which, this one is a fantasy creature, it's based off of one of my art dolls that I've done, so I think you guys will really like it. Um, but yeah, I have a doctor's appointment on that Friday, so I won't be able to do a vlog. I actually still need to fill out the new patient paperwork that I need to take when I go. If you guys are wondering, we have yet to figure out what is uh, going on with me, but I am going to see a specialist. <laughs> so hopefully after more tests with them, I can um, figure out what it is and start getting on some type of medication or something like that. Uh, and then I can kind of go into more details with it. I just don't want to talk about it until I know what it actually is. I don't want to just assume it's something and then be wrong and it's something else, so instead of like, yeah, I have this, or I think I have this, I want to have a, an actual diagnosis. And so I will let you guys know when I know. I don't know why I poured that much. Why did I pour that much? I don't need that much for these two horns. I guess we're going to have to find something else to make. <laughs> okay, that is all mixed. Now we can start painting it on. I guess why these start curing a little bit, I can figure out what to do with the extra resin. Yeah, I was just talking, talking to you guys, and I just completely did not realize what I was doing. Because <laughs> normally this is how much I do, because normally when I'm working with resin, I am doing multiple things, and I'll actually use that much, but that's not the case right now. <laughs> I just kind of went into like autopilot mode. Okay, got them all resined. Now I'm gonna probably set them off to the side for like 30, 30, 40 minutes. And that should leave them where they're not runny anymore, but they're really sticky. And then we can add glitter to them. Okay, I think these have been sitting here long enough. And I'm getting a bunch of editing done for this vlog while I was waiting on it. That way I don't have to edit the entire thing tonight. So it looks a little yellow, but this is like the whitest, clearest one that they have. It's got a tiny bit of a weird yellow tint to it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to have that. But I think it will give it a more frosted look than the other ones. There's a reason I have the paper down. <laughs> Catch all the extra glitter. Interesting. It kind of looks like little candies. I bet if I used different colors, it would look just like sugary candies. Okay. I'll let that set and see what it does. Oh my god, guys. While I was cleaning this up, I finally figured out why it has that yellow tint to it. This glow-in-the-dark glitter. I never read the label. <laughs> so the yellow is that glow-in-the-dark stuff. So, like, I don't know if I can get it to show up dark enough but it what it in person it was actually glowing I can't get it to work on camera so it's actually glow in the dark glitter so I'll have to test it out and see if these actually glow in the dark after I really wonder how many times I've used this glitter not knowing it's glow in the dark glitter <laughs> yeah I really want to see what those look like now but I should probably wait until they're completely cured before I mess with them because I don't want to accidentally bump them right now. I don't even know if the glitter will shift right now because I think I left it to cure long enough and still be sticky, but it could still move around. So I'll have to check on it and I might have to do another like layer of glitter on top of it just to fill in any spots that move around. But I think I am done for today other than getting a little bit more editing done on this vlog. I might edit another video. I'm not 100% sure yet. It is like 3 p.m. so I gotta start dinner pretty soon after I get my editing done. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!